the second you realize that you slept with your mascara on and you've already applied your face cream for the day. Hmm. That was a waste. Yeah. Don't sleep with your mascara on. Not good. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was up until like 3, 4 in the morning and I was determined to get out that winner's video for you guys. And I wouldn't stop. I would not stop editing and trying to get it on the computer because I had to put it up for you guys yesterday. That's what I did. So what did I do? I fell asleep in front of my computer with my mascara on. It's okay. I had showered. Yeah, I showered off. I'm a clean girl, okay? I just didn't wash my face in the shower because I was trying to rush to get out. Blah, 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 you know the story. I'm just trying to, you know, wash what's important. You know what I mean? I let the face which is important. Let's let's back it up. The face is important, okay? I used a makeup wipe. That's what I used all on the face. I didn't go in and wash the face. So this is what happened. I got some crusty old mascara on my face, but uh, we're gonna fix that. This is a, a moment for you guys today. I'm gonna call it a teachable moment. That is gonna be what today is about. It's a very quick, brief, teachable moment, real quick. That's all. I wanted to share something with you guys since I'm getting ready for work, you know? Can't go to work looking like this right here. Mm -mm. I, I'm like a hit or miss. Some days I want to be glam, you know, and I want to have the full thing with the eyes and everything, and I want to be bam in your face and, you know, all bright and cheery. And a lot of days, I'm talking a lot of days, I'm just pretty natural. I just go to work pretty natural. I put a lip color on, got my mascara, my eyeliner, and that's it. I don't put nothing else on the face. I don't put... Bronzer, blush, highlight, none of that stuff. Not even foundation. I know it's like a crime to some people if you walk out of the house without foundation, but I do it all the time, people. I do it all the time. Anyway, I thought I'm going to show you guys a little tip that I do. And um, first, I'm gonna get this garbage off my eyes, okay? And by the way, I do love this mascara. I'm really enjoying it. It's that Thrive um, Cosmetics Mascara. And I have, again, nothing on my face, just the mascara. That's all I did yesterday, just to film a quick little um, video for you guys with the nails and wanted to get my giveaway winner out. Cause you know, I know how it is when you're waiting, you wanna find out, hey, did I win, you know? So I know how it is, you guys. I think of you guys. I get that way too, I get anxious and I wanna know. Oh, hey, tell me who the winner is. I'm gonna try to come up with a better way to do those instead of waiting for a video to come out. Cause sometimes it takes a little bit longer than you expect to get the video out. Cause you know, if you do YouTube, it's not like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like you're done. No, you gotta make the video. You gotta edit the video. You gotta post it up on your computer before you can get it out in the public. So, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of typing. It's a lot, it's a, it's a lot more than what, you know, some people might think if they don't do YouTube videos. So maybe what I'm gonna do in the future for the giveaways is maybe just put it in the description box. Hey, here's the winner, you know. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, you know. And just maybe something like that. I don't know, or maybe down in the comments, I'll say, hey, by the way, so-and-so won. I don't know. We never know what a good way is until we try it. We gotta try these things. So I'm gonna wash this off my face. I'm gonna come right back and show you my tip for today, okay, you guys? All right, guys, here's another perfect teachable moment, okay? You see all these little this and everything? This is those bolitas of, of junk that I was talking about that comes off of your off of your lashes when you have those um, those fiber mascaras. Look at that. Look at all that. You see that right there? You would think that that's like your eyelash or something, but there is an eyelash in there. Look, there's an eyelash in there. I lost it. That's what I don't like about those mascaras. They literally like pull my lashes out, you guys. You see that? This is junk. This is not eyelash. This is just the fiber stuff, the way it's made. That's what clings to your lashes and gives them that nice little length on there. But when you take my lashes out, you get mad. Ah. Oh. Now you know that I'm not exaggerating. This right here shows you I'm not exaggerating when I see my lashes get pulled out. So I guess I have sensitive lashes. I don't know what the hell, you know? But anyway, I wanted to show you guys in case y'all buy that kind of mascara and you want to freak out when you see like all this stuff coming off. It's, that's normal. The lashes coming off is not. But this junk is, is normal, okay? All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to skip putting this back on. Um, this is the the uh, Bye Bye Under Eye by Ed Cosmetics. 
and I do use this morning and night. I did this, you know, I put it on first thing when I woke up. And I forgot I had mascara on my eyes. Yes, I did, I forgot that. Go figure, right? And so, my tip for you guys, which I was thinking of you guys when I was doing this, I was like, you know what, let me do a video. I'm going to apply some concealer, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I apply the concealer. You may have seen me do it in the other video. But I'm gonna tell you why, okay? So all I do is I go under the baggage area, okay? I just put two little dots because this tart shape tape, he ain't messing around. He's got it, he packs a punch, okay? I get a flat brush, okay? And I start to bring that down and out. So I bring it down underneath that baggage area and just kind of feather it out, okay? All the way up to the corner where all that darkness is. Bring it down the side of the nose. I mean, there's plenty of this concealer to go around, okay? Do you need some? I can, I can give you some. I go down under the nose and usually I'll put like two little dots right here and everything, but I'm not gonna do all that right now. I just kinda wanna show you this little tip. Bring it under there, get that little crevice area that we all know and love. Okay, and then I just continue to kind of line it right under that baggage line, okay? Just like that. I wanna get all that with the most product under, okay? Try to cover up all my redness because your girl's got a lot of redness. As you can see, I wake up with some redness. I woke up like this. I'm all right, I'm happy when I wake up. I ain't got no complaints. Well, I have a few complaints, but don't don't me off. It's brightening where I want it to brighten. Now, you might be like, Kat, why didn't you go all the way under the eye? I'm gonna tell you, give me a minute, hold on. Just want you to see what I'm doing here. I got most of that product and I pulled it down. Now, what's left, I go up, okay? Okay, so I just took what was left and pulled it up, put concealing under this area, okay? The reason I do that and I focus down first and then move my way up is because if you have little fine lines, okay, that are running right here on both sides, I don't have them that bad, I don't, but I do have the little fine lines, okay? When you have that, if you go immediately right under your eye, like everybody on YouTube does, and they just pop that concealer there right away, all you're doing is accentuating those fine lines immediately, okay? So yeah, I know what you're, I already know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, but it does a great job and it's like so brightening. But do you really look in the mirror? Do you like look right up in the mirror? If you do look up in the mirror, you're gonna notice that all of those little lines are deep set with the concealer. I know that they go in and they put some powder and they say, okay, we're gonna set it. I know all that. I'm a makeup artist, okay? I know all that. But just because you set it with some powder does not mean it's not gonna settle into those lines, okay? Because it's on your face. They're on your face. No powder and liquid or whatever is going to completely take that away, okay? It's gonna hide it, it's gonna minimize it. That it will do. But the only thing that's gonna take those fine lines away is if you're a baby and you're just born, okay? Sorry. Or go get some plastic surgery, go, go get some fillers. That's it. Other than that, the makeup is going to find its way there. It is. Some makeup is way worse. Some settle real bad. Those are the ones that say, oh, it's creasing. It's creasing real bad because there are some that are either too thin or they're, they're just not the right kind of formula and they literally settle right in there immediately. That I can attest to. That is very true. But as far as all of this makeup, just, you know, the more you pack on, it's going to wipe it away. It's not. And you're going to realize it when you get up and close in a mirror and you see it, okay? So I just put the minimal amount, I put the heavy amount and I concentrate it down here and I put the minimal amount up here. Another tip, and I wish I had a corrector, but I don't have one right now, is to just focus the concealer under this area only and don't even put it up there. Use a corrector up here, which like your little peachy tones, your pinky tones, if you need a green one, whatever you need for your type, if you got dark circles, whatever it is, Get a corrector and just dab that on there and use a little flat brush if you want and just smooth it out or use your finger. Your, the warmth of your finger is really good. 
I use a flat brush because it just, for me, it's precise. It's precise. I kind of keep that product under here and I take it up when I'm ready to. I just take up the remnants of it. Now, an extra tip, okay, is to get a little bit of powder. Pack on the light powder under here, okay? I don't have it with me. Maybe next time I'll be more prepared. I won't do these teaching moments on a whim. But I just, you know, I was getting ready. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys before I put my concealer on what I usually do. This is what I usually do. And a lot of times I don't even put anything on my face at all. I just don't. But if you want that extra lightness under that little baggage area, you can just get some of your powder. I'm gonna show you with this, or you can just dot this one more time. Just dot that under there and keep it under that bag, okay? You're hiding the shadow is what you're doing so it doesn't look so prominent. If you notice from a little while ago to right now, it's settled down some. It doesn't look as puffy. I mean, it's still puffy. It's still there, it's not going away. Now, I will tell you, I didn't come up with this whole technique by myself. Um, I saw another influencer, and I can't remember who it was. I hate when I can't remember because I like to give credit what credit's due. An another uh, makeup artist on YouTube was saying about keeping the lightest part under here with like the light powder. I've always tried to keep my concealer down low because I always noticed that when I put it right on top of this baggage area, it was so much more accentuated. So that's something that I would do myself already. And the extra tip where the person was saying about putting lighter powder under here and concealing that shadow and trying to make the shadow less prominent, that I got off of someone else. So just so you know, I do a combination of those two things, you know? And like I said, just one more time, keeping heavier product under and then just bringing up what's left is to me a really good way of keeping those lines under your eyes more minimal. It's, and you still get some coverage under there. My eye is still brighter than it was when I first got up here, you know? A lot of you guys out there, you're in your 20s, you're in your teens, you're, you're barely hitting 30 if even. Um, so you might not have the excess of line. So maybe you're like, cat, shut up. I don't care. I don't want to do that. I'm just sharing with you my tip, okay? So don't be ugly, all right? And don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to share my tip with you on how to keep less product from building up right in this area. All right, you guys, that was it for today. I may have like maybe a little series that I might do where I have these little teachable moments of something here or there and just pop in here and be like, hey, today's a teachable moment for you guys, all right? So yeah, whether you like it or not like it, give me a thumbs up, tell me no, not so much. It's okay, I'm just sharing with you what I do and what I've learned and what I've noticed. That's all. You guys, have you hit the subscribe button? It would be a good idea if you just clicked that little guy and then just came back and saw the rest of my videos. It would be amazing, okay? All right, you guys, I appreciate all of y'all. See you next time. And as always, be kind, do something great for somebody. You know what? Maybe give someone a lift to the store. Maybe give somebody a ride that you know don't have a car. All right? All right, love you guys. Bye. Have you subscribed yet? Please do so. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you're here.